For this lab, we're going to be testing the reactivity series uh, for metals and their metal ion solutions. In this way, we can build a reduction half reaction table using the spontaneity idea. So when we see a spontaneous reaction, we know that the strongest oxidizing agent is higher than the strongest reducing agent. To do this, we are going to do microchemistry, which involves using a spot plate. Now, spot plates have small wells in them where a small volume of metal ion solution can be placed, followed by a small sample of metal. In this way, the reaction can be observed without using large scale reactions, uh, lots of volume or lots of solid. To do this, we need to label our spot plate correctly. And in our reaction test here, we'll be testing our magnesium ions. So we'll use the columns here to indicate our metal ions. So that first column will be magnesium ions. The second column will be copper 2 plus ions. And our third column will be iron 3 plus ions. My mistake, iron 2 plus ions. We'll place a small volume of the three solutions in each of those wells. So our first well will be magnesium ions. And in our second column of wells, we'll place our copper two ions, nice blue color. And in our third column of wells, we'll place our iron two plus ions. Now that we have all of the ions uh, ready to go, we're going to add our solids. And in this case, we're going to add our solids across the rows. So our first row, we are going to be testing magnesium solid. Our second row, we'll be testing copper solid. And our third row, we'll be testing iron solid. So our first row will be magnesium metal. So we'll take a small amount of magnesium and place it in each one of those wells. And I think right away we can see vigorous reactions happening in both the copper solution and the iron 2 plus solution. But no reaction at all in the magnesium ion solution. Secondly, we'll be testing copper metal. And in this case, we'll place small pieces of copper in each of the three wells. Keeping a controlled variable of three pieces for each well. And finally, we'll be placing iron filings in the third row of wells. A small amount of iron filings. And then we observe for any reactions. Now it appears that the copper has not reacted at all. There's no evidence of bubbling. There's no evidence of color change in any of the three wells. The iron does not appear to have any change in its iron ion solution. And in the copper 2 plus solution, what we can observe, as I will stir this slightly, because the iron filings tend to float on the surface, what we can observe if we look at the center of the well there with the iron that is at the bottom of the well, we can see that it's actually changing color. If we look at the top, the top is a, a silvery grayish color. And if we look at the bottom, we start to see it's quite darker, but it's also a, a reddish hue. Now in spontaneity, we understand the concept just tells us if it's spontaneous, it does not indicate the rate of the reaction. And in this case, this redox reaction is slightly slower. Um, so we can leave this well and check uh, a little bit. It will become more reddish as time goes on. We take a look at the final well here. And the magnesium ions have not had any effect on the solid iron. Again, in the first set, we could see that the magnesium 
heavily reacted with our copper 2 plus and our iron 2 plus solutions. Using these data, go ahead and build a reduction half reaction table listing the strongest oxidizing agent on the top left and the strongest reducing agent on the bottom right.